Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Travis S. Scott with What's Happening Birmingham. I'm back again. I'm here with Sheriff Mark Petway for Jefferson County. Sheriff, good to see you. Good to see you too, Jarvis. Good, good. Always a pleasure. As you all know, I always, always like to bring the sheriff on at least a couple of times during the year, but this, he's a very busy man to kind of talk about the great things he's doing in our county and just keeping us safe. So, first of all, how you been doing, Sheriff? Uh, thank God I'm doing good. Um, I'm in good health. feel good. In a good mind. Safe mind. And I'm uh, just busy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, as you all know, as I did a previous segment with the sheriff this past weekend about the Hoop Fest three on three tournament. So tell me about this this season and what how it went. Well, we had a great season last year, and they did not want to see it in. Oh, <laughs> and it was great. We gave her a lot of great prizes. We had a lot of great competition. We had uh, people from all ages to come out and participate. We had a, a male and females to participate last year. Mm -hmm. This year we only had males to participate, but we had a great season. It's not over with. We have one more uh, tournament to play, but we're excited about it. This past Saturday we had a great group of individuals to come out and play. Uh, we talked about conflict resolution, and we had opportunities to do a little conflict resolution on the court because that was a little pushing and shoving. <laughs> okay. But we had opportunity to say, hey, we're going to de-escalate mm -hmm. the situation. And we talked about de-escalation and we put it upon each and every one that was playing. Say, hey, this is your teammate. Make sure you take charge and de-escalate the situation if you want to stay in the tournament. They understood that mm -hmm. and they made sure that they stayed within those parameters. And um, we want to make sure that they understood that when in life you see one of your friends in a situation and the situation is get out of hand, de-escalate the situation. And one of the things I liked about the tournament was it, your officers were participating in it, and I think it gives an opportunity to build that relationship and get to know the, the kids. Because as we all know that if the officers and the, and the neighbors, I'm going to say the neighbors, but the community know each other, that, that when things happen in our community, feel more comfortable coming to you all, telling you all about it. They get to see us in a different light. Yeah. Uh, we're always bridging that gap between yeah. law enforcement and the community. They get to see the officers um, in a way that the officers were refereeing, the deputies were yeah. refereeing. Yeah. So, you know, they get to see them in a, in a place to where uh, they're still an authority figure, but it's just in a different way because we allow them to play their own game. Mm -hmm. But we're just there to keep the score and to make sure that uh, everything goes uh, by the rules. Okay, and I want to congratulate you on your new TV show. It's called the Jefferson County um, Cam Watch. Absolutely. We're proud of the work that the deputies do here each and every day in, uh, at Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. They do great work. Mm -hmm. This gives us an opportunity to show the public what our deputies do and give them opportunity to meet our deputies, to see the deputies that serve you each and every day. So we're proud of the work that they do. Now they get to see how the deputies put their uniform on every day and go out there to serve the public. And not only do they serve the public, they make sure they prevent things from happening and they catch those perpetrators that are out there committing crimes every day. Yeah, one thing I like about it, it has different different segments. Like the first segment was the it's kind of was a high speed chase, and shout out to Deputy Wild because that was his segment. That was very entertaining how he was he was catching the suspect start off high speed then conducting on foot to foot and then the second segment i want to say the officer's name was barbin he was one that was it was a rural area and you used the drones and i like how that brought a different perspective into it we have a lot of resources a lot of tools that we use the deputies show you what type of shape they're in yeah they're not giving up on oh, anybody yeah. whether it's a, a, a chase in a vehicle or a chase on foot they're actively putting everything that they have on the inside of them to catch those perpetrators. And that's something that we want to see happen throughout all of Jefferson County. If you commit a crime, we're coming after you. Oh, yeah, because he, as soon as he got in that wreck, he called them foot by foot. And eventually called them, it was in between like two houses or whatever the case. And that was even using dogs or canine, the canine unit you all use. 
absolutely the, the deputies got on foot and they chased those individuals uh, that you will see in the body cam. But they made sure that when they caught them, they de-escalated the situation. They took them into custody and they brought them to jail. And this is what we do each and every day. We get our guy, we de-escalate the situation, and we bring them to jail. Yeah, that's, so that's airing on Channel 42. Um, is it Friday or Saturday? Uh, it's on Saturdays and okay. Sundays. Okay, and it's also on YouTube too. So you all don't miss it. It's on YouTube. And um, I'll do, do a plug. Join, join, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the notification when it's coming out. So the other thing I see that you work on is a big recruitment drive. Yes, and we're using this uh, Jefferson County Body Cam to also uh, as a recruiting tool to show people what we do in the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. There's a lot that we do in the Sheriff's Office. We want to see if you can find yourself as being one of our deputies because we've recruited from just about every area of, of occupation. We have people that was once uh, airplane pilots working with us now. We have people that worked worked in the medical field as nurses and doctors that are working with us now. We have people of all backgrounds working with us here at Jefferson County Sheriff's Office as deputies. So we want you to come and join us. This is used as a tool to help also recruit. If you feel like you can come and help and when you want to make a difference in your community, please come and join the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office or come and get more information on how you can serve your community. So once you apply, I think go to the website, how long does it usually take to um, go, you have to go to school? Now, if you're looking to come to be a regular deputy, uh, the training is three months uh -huh. uh, at the academy. But if you want to be a reserve deputy, you can come and be a reserve deputy, which you don't have to come to go through the academy. You can sign on and give us service each month, 16 hours a month uh, as a reserve. Or you can go through the reserve academy, which takes a year and uh, a month to go through the Reserve Academy. And that's only done on the weekends, every other weekend. And you can become a full, full-fledged deputy sheriff by going through that academy. We're the only academy that does that here in the state of Alabama. We have the only Reserve Academy here. And uh, police officers as well as deputy sheriffs go through that academy. And if you feel like that is something that you want to do, we'll be glad to have you here to serve as a Reserve Deputy also. So what's a misconception people usually get when they want to think about applying to become getting law enforcement? Well, well it's a calling. Uh -huh. It's something that you have to have on the inside of you to, uh -huh. to be able to want to do. And if you see how those deputies respond in the videos, they are called to do what they do. Their whole heart is in it. And that's what you see every time you watch those videos. Uh, they cannot do it if their heart is not in it. They do it for the community. They're not doing it for themselves. They're doing it for the community, making sure that the community is safe. And we're proud to have those deputies working right here at Jessica County Sheriff's Office. We're proud to show you what they do each and every day to make you safe. If you see them, pat them on the back. Tell them thank you. Tell them that you appreciate the work that they're doing each and every day, that they're out there to serve you. And another, I guess I want to go back to the, the Hoop Fest. One thing I like that you had at the Hoop Fest term, you had different booths. Like you had a booth from Jefferson County Department of Health, you had a booth from the Air National Guard. But one of the neat things you had at the Jefferson County Department, you had the gun, the gun locks. Absolutely. We've partnered with the Department of Health to give out gun locks. It is a health issue the way we're losing kids, young people each and every day on the streets. So we've partnered together to make sure that no one gets hurt accidentally or by mistake. By giving the gun lock, use the gun lock once you get it. It's free. Stop by our office or by the Jefferson County Health Department and get a free gun lock and put it to use because if a kid gets suspicious and find that gun, we don't want them to be able to make a mistake and hurt themselves or someone else or take a life unintentionally. Yeah, I don't imagine. Like when I saw that, I was like, man, that is really good because so many accidents occur a year where the parent be like, well, did you put the gun up somewhere? And nine times out of ten, if you have a gun, you're going to have bullets in the gun. You're not just going to just have a gun without having any bullets in it. Absolutely. If this is to prevent that from happening, we would rather be on the preventive end than the responding end. So if that happens, uh, you're responsible for your handgun. You're responsible for if someone finds your handgun and use it. So since you're responsible, we give you a free lock. A free gun lock. Just come and pick it up and make sure that you use it 
place it within that gun, the structures are there, and that makes you and your family safe. Or anyone that could come in and if someone finds that gun accidentally, it prevents something from happening. Be on the preventive end and not have us to respond. Thank you. Okay, as we close, I guess I got to also mention that you also hire your SRO officers. Now, because time this table in mid-summer, but we're about to get into school. And the great job you all work with keeping the schools safe here, too. SRO officers uh, are now going into training. Okay. They train uh, with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office as well as other agencies right here in Jefferson County. They pick a school and they go in that school and they train on how to spot the perpetrator, mm -hmm. make the students safe, and get that perpetrator. We use all kind of uh, resources now to be able to find the perpetrator. We have cameras placing throughout the school that comes into our MAC Center. Mm -hmm. uh, instructions on what a perpetrator is can be given immediately to those deputies that are responding and to those deputies that are on the scene as well as using drones. We de deploy drones within schools to find a perpetrator and to make sure that once he's located, the information is given out and we can quickly get that perpetrator, get him out of that school and make sure the school is safe. Now, do you have a job for people, uh, kind of, uh, like keep going back with the drones, do you have a job for people that fly and use the drones around? Them? Absolutely. Yeah. If you're a fan of drones, you like using drones, we have a, a place for you right here at Jefferson County Sheriff's Office whether you want to be reserved or come in and be a full-time deputy. If you have a hobby, we got a place for you right here. Drones are something that we're using in law enforcement all over right now. And we need you. If you're trained, come and serve right here at Jessica County Sheriff's Office, something that you like doing. You can help save your community. You can help prevent things from happening in your community by helping us. So come and be a part of us and bring your talent right here to Jessica County Sheriff's Office because we can use them. Well, Sheriff Patway, thank you for coming on today. Um, you know, I guess the time is taping. It's summertime, so as it get hotter, but one of the great things to try and go back to about your um, term is when we know when the kids are out, they got nothing to do. You know what happens when kids don't have nothing to do. Sometimes it rears on that other end, but when you're doing the basketball term, it's giving them something to do. And they even win cash prizes, people, with the talent. You know, they say, uh, I don't mind, it's a devil workshop. Yeah. We don't want the devil working on any of our youth. We don't want the devil giving our youth ideas or things to do. So we're looking to step up, give our youth something to do. Not only that, but we're blessing them with cash prizes. So when they go back to school, a lot of them are school students. And they're able to furnish things that they need from, to, for school by the cash winnings that they get through the tournament. So we're providing a lot to our community by helping them out with this tournament. We're giving them ideas and things to do constructively. They enjoy the tournament. They mm -hmm. love it. Not only that, they love winning those prizes. Oh, yeah. So they lead winning great prizes, helping themselves when they get ready to go back to school. All right, well, Sheriff Pat, wait, thank you again. Thank and you I'll let you end it. What, I, I see your billboard when you say, you see some, say some. What's the phone number? Absolutely. We work with Crime Stoppers. Report an incident that you see the Crime Stoppers. That number is 254 Seven 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 seven. Area code two zero five two five four seven 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 seven. Thank you. Thank you all for watching this podcast. Please check out what's happening right now for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the audio version of this on Apple Podcasts and check out Jefferson County Cam Watch. I'm telling you, it's one of the best new TV series on TV today. And subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm telling you, it's very, it's very entertaining and informative and also give you a much deeper respect. I respect what you all do anyway, but deeper respect what they do because they truly are putting their lives on the line. Thank you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website app or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.